Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I got my cup of coffee outside. We've got the duck and the flamingo and the pool. It's going to be a good day today. <laughs> the flamingo's looking a little haggard, like a little deflated a little bit out there. We got to blow that one up a little bit more. So we had a good day yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. We did shopping and came home and that was all I filmed. And then we just did our school and made food chili, threw it in the crock pot, and then um, we spent the afternoon in the pool, and I worked a little bit on my Bible channel, and so just a good relax, not relax, not relaxing, good not doing too much day, even though we did. Does that make sense? We did, we did do a lot, because I put this thing together too. We got some, we're trying to start, um, moved in here obviously last year, and we picked up a few new things this year coming, and that are for, to make our backyard a backyard. So this was one, a storage container. We need storage. Storage is one thing we don't, have a ton of here. The garage space is a whole lot smaller than our old garage. And so when you have how many bikes? Six bikes. Six bikes taking up the garage. Is there six or is there seven? Uh, yeah, six. But I was thinking, how many bikes do we have? And there's six bikes taking up the garage. It's a lot of bikes. And then the lawnmower. And then the the power washer. And then the there's just like stuff that it, it accumulates. And there, it takes a lot of floor space. I know we talked about putting stuff on the walls, but um, the kids ride their bikes right now. So maybe maybe in the summer when they don't, because summertime it's like, I noticed last year, um, like the neighbor, there was not very many kids ride and they'd walk in the neighborhood. Sometimes in the summer, I didn't see a whole lot, but then when it got cooler, oh, you saw everybody all the time. I'm like, oh, it's because it's a thousand degrees. Nobody's outside. <laughs> so I think as summer rolls around here, it gets warmer. The bikes will be less, and so we'll probably hook those up on top or you know, figure out what we're gonna do with those, but we need space. Space, space, space. So we have a lot of stuff for outside. We have we have a salt water pool, so we have a salt bin. We have the pool vacuums. We have all the floaties. We have all the, you know, the we do have to add stuff to this pool. Even though it's salt water, it makes its own chlorine, which is a very cool thing. Did you know that? Did you know that it turns the salt into chlorine? and then it goes back and it's just a cycle. I did not know that. It's a whole phenomenon, very interesting. But you still need to add muriatic acid to it, which is a weird thing, but um, I know the last people, I was like, why do they have all this muriatic acid? I'm like, oh, because you have to add it to your pool. It's all about the pool levels. Even though you have salt water, you still have to make your levels good. So I know even when I see pool guys driving around here, they have big jugs of muriatic acid. I'm like, yes, because that's what you need to add to the pool. So you have to add like that stuff. So you have stuff. We have you know the brushes we have a lot of things that are just basically sitting on the side of the house we have a little tiny bin over there it's not that big but needed something bigger so we put this together last night so i'm like this is good and i'm like i started putting it together myself yeah, let me show you i started doing it greg was out here working on something else and i had to laugh because he was um doing his thing over here on the table i'm like well, let's put it together i could put it together in the house because it was muggy and i'm like he's like well let's go outside it's nice and i'm like no i'll start like sweating because i'll have stress trying to put this thing together and he's like oh babe it'll be great so i came outside but as soon as i started coming out it was like i was starting to get stuffy right away and i was like oh my goodness so i was just feeling uh, right here so he was working over on the table i was putting this together and i'm like okay i got most of it and then we got to a part and i was like oh i feel like you're supposed to put those on there and so i totally forgot to put the little light that goes on before the screw. So he had to help me a little bit, but we got this, let me show you. I love that it's got a little like open on left door and then it opens up, look at it. Let's see, next thing's gonna go in there. So this is gonna be very nice. It doesn't have to have the shelves in there. Weren't sure what, like I said, I wasn't sure like what everything we can put in here, but this is gonna be great to have for the shelves to stick stuff in here to keep outside. Oh, look at Maxine's like, is it a dog place? Is it your place, Maxine? 
No, she's like, I'm good. I like the plastic. Plastic's always good for outside because it lasts longer. I know like our chairs that we have outside here, our pool ones, they definitely like after a year, well, we had the ones for two years and they're definitely getting worn and then the new ones are even getting worn. I'm like, my goodness, plastic works for, it's like lifetime warranty on plastic. It lasts forever. Plastic works forever. So I am excited for this. So I'm not sure exactly where this thing is going to go. I love it. The shelves come out too, which is really good. Come that push down. Oh. Shut it, shut it, and then lock. There we go, lock the door. So this we're gonna put, I think we're gonna do a whole area. I have a little stand for my coffee. So this, <laughs> don't mind the mess rolling on over here. Smoker in my pizza oven, I have to, I was using it, so I need to cover that up. We just have a mess of stuff in the ground here with vacuums and pool salt, and there's floaty stuff in the outside. I've got, you know, stuff I have to clean up over there. But right here is we're gonna put um, a couch. So we've got a couch. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll see when it, I don't, I don't know what the shipping time is, but a couch for right here, which is nice. I thought what I've always wanted right here. So we have to kind of move these down. Greg talked about doing like a little patio over there. And then we talked about putting that over there. So we're thinking, it's like, hmm, we're running out of space outside here. Where just because we have such a large family, it's like you have to have a big table for everybody. It doesn't just fit to have just a small amount. So I'm thinking that this is going to go over on the side here. And then um, we can put all of our stuff inside it. Even probably put our pool um, robots in there too. We'll see how uh, we'll see what we end up doing. But I'm like, this will this will work. So this is what we did last night. So that worked out. And then um, it was late. And then it was like 8:30 by the time we were done. And we're like, do you want to go swimming? I'm like, let's go swimming. So we went in the pool for about an hour. And then I was just tired. I just kept sneezing. I'm like, it's the pollen on top of the pool water. So we swam for a little bit and then came in and went to bed. I was out, slept, slept, slept really good. And then got up today and I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, what do I gotta do? I went all, I did all that shopping. So I got all those groceries. I have to do, like, I don't have to. The last time I went shopping, I prepared all my meat right away and then froze it. You know, like did my fajita meat, did my sausage, breakfast sausage, and just put it in the freezer. And um, I just didn't do all that. I did, like I ground up the chicken, I cut the chicken, that kind of prep, but not, and separated the meat, but didn't like prepare it the next step. So like that needs to be done. But this week is a little bit busier. We have things going on. It's like today we're gonna do a field trip. We're going on a field trip. You're gonna come to a field trip. You're gonna go to Big Cat Habitat with us. So we're gonna go there. It's fun, bring you along. I don't know, there's supposed to be big cats there. <laughs> We'll see how that works, but I'm like, so I'm like, I don't really have time to do a lot of food making right now. I mean, it's working out because breakfast, the kids are eating a lot of cereal. There's lots of bread for sandwiches right now. So I, and then we just made dinners. So that's what we've been doing the last few days of just making dinner. So there's plenty of food to eat. So there's nothing like no one's starving. There's always stuff to eat. So I'm like, Hmm, I, I, want, I can't wait. I can't wait to make like my ice cream desserts. I can't start to start making popsicles, but I got to empty my freezer a little bit because there's no room for like a tray of popsicles to freeze. So I'm like, hmm, I started like thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not even to think too far in advance. I'm like, what do I do today? So today I'm going to need food. We're going to need food for today. Obviously we're going to have to eat, but I don't have to worry about a lot of prep. I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. I want to bake. I want to do all these things, but I'm like, the most important today is gonna to be to get out the door and go to Big Cat Habitat. So this is real life. I'm gonna show you what we're doing and bring you along. So it's gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna go in. I've gotta take Brooklyn to work here this morning. When I get back, I'm gonna make, we're gonna do slaw dogs for tonight. I think that'll be a really yummy dinner. It's delicious, everybody loves it. Plus it gets a package of hot dogs out and a package of buns out of my freezer. So I'm trying to get rid of the big stuff in there first. <laughs> got the, got those big bags of subs. I need to get those probably out. That probably would, I know that would help, but that's not today yet. We've had a lot of like quick foods and you know, we did um, lunch meat sandwiches last week. So it's like, and then rotisserie chicken. So I'm trying to stay away from this, the subs just yet. And we're having a lot of sandwiches, but maybe by the weekend we will. So we're going to make that today. And then um, the kids are moving. We're going to pack a lunch. We'll probably get some school in real quick. And then we're heading out the door and it's an all day event. It's an all day afternoon event. It's like from 12 to four. I think it's open that long and it says you can be there that long. So we're gonna go do that today. Tomorrow, maybe we'll do some food making. We'll see. And then it's gonna be the weekend. So I'm like, we gotta get outside. I've got a lot of stuff I need to get outside. I'm like, springtime has made like the stuff fall off the trees and it's all yucky. We need to like leaf blow and clean up. And I'm like, what do you do? There's like a ton of things. Like even this, I wanna like put this out and put this away. But I'm like, you know what? It can sit here. I gotta put together. That's the key. It's put together out of my living room we can focus on setting it up this weekend so it's like no worries no stress that's the beautiful thing it's like you got to ask yourself all right what do i do today 
that's the key it's like I always say Lord what do I do what do I do for today what's the most important today I'm like I can't I want to do this I want to get out here and leak blow I want to clean all this up but I'm like there's not a lot of time I could do it just stress out trying to get a million things done or I can just say this can sit right here in the middle for a few days or even till the weekend and that's completely fine we'll set it up eventually <laughs> That's what you gotta do in your life. So my encouragement to you today, trust in the Lord with all your heart, all of your heart, not part of it, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. So think to yourself, in what areas in your life do you need to trust God more? Oh, I got a, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> I falter too. I got to falter too. I've been even this week getting things together in the house and like thinking, oh, I need to be doing this food prep. I need to be getting this done, all these things. And I'm like, you know what? God's like, that's not important this week. That was last month. You did a lot of that. You were, you were home more. You're doing things. Now you have some opportunities to do more things out. So focus on those things right now. And guess what? You can come back and cook later. And I'm like, you're right. Keep doing what I need to be doing for my home and everything else will fall into place. And I'm always reminded, okay, when I do trust in God and I do trust his plan, it leads to a positive result. It doesn't lead to crazy chaotic stress. And I know the times that I didn't and how chaotic it was. So remind yourself, yeah, look back and go, yep, he took care of me then. That was a peaceful day because I did what I was supposed to do even though I didn't do what I thought I had to do because I was led and I was did what I was supposed to do, it was a much more positive, much more peaceful day. I think so consider those things, remember those things when you're thinking through whatever area you need to trust Him in. So your action step, action step, it means God wants you to do something. Like God is a active God. He's not a passive God. He's not one that just sits back and just says, you go ahead and sit there and don't do anything. Just come and sit, sit at church and don't do anything. Just sit there and I'll do everything I need to do in your life. I'll, I'll make those miracles happen. I'll, I'll provide for you. I'll do all those things. And God can. God can. So it depends on your situation, where you're at in life. But God doesn't want you just sitting back. He wants you to be active. He wants you to go after. He wants you to grab hold of. He wants you to believe. He wants you to trust. He wants you to do all those things. So he's an active God. So your action step is to, okay, this is a big one. Ready, ladies? Release. Think of that one thing where you need to trust God. Just one, just do one today. Don't do two. Two is too much. Just do one. So you're going to release. Release. That means let go. Let go. <laughs> and trust God to do what he's got to do in that situation. Ugh, I know, holding on to things, it, it does a lot of baggage in your life and you feel like you need to worry about things. You need to, you know, can be thinking about things constantly. And if you're not, you're not a good person. That means you're not, you know, thinking about people and you're not worried about this. And if you're not doing that, then that doesn't make you a good Christian. That doesn't make you a good, no, 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 no. A good Christian, a good Christian would be one that would not think about it. If God, unless God tells you to do something about it. He wants you to release your cares, release your worries, release your burdens about that situation to him. And then if he tells you to do something, oh, you know what the next key is going to be? <laughs> Here it is. Do it. Do whatever he tells you to do. I know. I know. That's probably like the releasing, the releasing control. That's probably one of the hardest, right? Because we ladies like to control. We like to you know, think we got things and we can handle situations and if we make it all look perfect and we make it all in our little molded area, then it's gonna be amazing. But in reality, that that's not how it is. <laughs> so if we release that control and then, and then trust God what he's gonna do and when he tells you something, do it. Ooh, I know, probably the hardest things to do. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It seems like it should be the easiest thing to do, just releasing that, what you're not supposed to take and then doing what he tells you to do. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding today. Don't do it. There goes Maxine, time for the squirrel. <laughs> That's what your encouragement for the day is today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to, I'm just doing a little bit of pickup in the house, not filming any of that, getting stuff ready. I gotta run Brooklyn to work. And when I get back, we're gonna get together slaw dogs. You've already seen me make them. We love them. I'm gonna make them again because they're good and they're delicious. So you guys ready for a great Wednesday? We're gonna go to Big Cat Happy. You're gonna go see some, I think we're seeing lions and tigers. I don't know what else. We'll see. It says you can be there for like three hours. So I assume there's like a vast variety of things to go see. So we'll see. It'll be a fun outing. You guys ready for a good outing? All right, let's go. I'm back. You didn't even know I was gone. So I took a Brooklyn to work and then um, I, I cooked my hamburger when I was vlogging this morning talking to you and then um, I came in and I was like ooh the bottom had burned a little bit you know because that happens so I just put it in the food processor to make it tiny I think someone said you can just um, take it and boil it with a bunch of water and it will get to small pieces I don't know 
I never did that. So what I'm gonna do, this is how we make our slaw dogs. We put, a, this is my onion, green pepper, and garlic mixture. You don't need this one. I need a small thing, hold on. I just have a lot of these in my freezer. So I'm choosing to use them up. So I would normally just put onion in here. We'll do a little green pepper, it'll be okay. So I'm gonna put half of this in here because it's pretty strong. Just because I need to use these, I was like, I have a lot of these in there I just like have not used. So this is gonna go in here and then what you're gonna put in here, I'm looking at my list, is tomato paste. Use the same spoon. I need to, what I usually do with this is I'll freeze it and I pull it up for spaghetti. So I need to separate it into little containers and then take it and um, just freeze it and maybe label it slaw sauce. All right, well, we got a cup of water and a quarter cup of ketchup. Let me get some water here. There we go. Okay, so then what do we do? We're gonna add chili powder. Chili powder. It's, what is it? It's a tablespoon of chili powder. And then sugar. <gasps> Worcestershire sauce. I know, it's not how you say it. <laughs> Isn't it just Worcester sauce? I know, someone corrects me every single time. We grew up saying Worcestershire sauce, so I'm gonna call it Worcestershire sauce. I know it's not it, and that's quite all right. Paprika, a teaspoon of paprika, and then garlic powder, and salt. Uh, it's funny, I need, to, I need to get my salt out here. Remember I didn't think that my um, order from Sam's Club would show up with salt? It did. It came yesterday, so I actually ordered another one of these. So this will be here. I'll have my lid. Let me take this and put this in something else. Much better to have the real stuff. It's okay to grind it up if you don't have anything else, but it's just not the best for making food here. Okay, so I'll just put this in here for now until my container should show up this week. So that'll be good. I just replaced I was looking for a lid, and I'm like, it was only, I think it was $10 for this one. So the Dowin brand, they didn't have the exact one in. They had a turquoise one, but not the white one. So I just, uh, I have to, where's my little handle for this? Hold on. Okay, I do have a handle for it, but I don't even know. Maybe it's in the dishwasher. So I'm just gonna stir this up, let this heat up. This is, this is the chili sauce for the hot dog. This is how we like it. So we'll, we'll cook hot dogs. I've got Nathan's hot dogs. We like those. I'll cook those when I get home because I won't take too long. They like them boiled. I know, I like them grilled with a little bit of burnt because, you know, burnt I like. And then I'll um, just put some of this on and I've got an onion I'm gonna chop up over there and we're going to do um, some slaw sauce. So this is it, very simple and delicious. So that's easy, it's done. And then what I'm gonna do is make some coleslaw on top of it. I'm gonna take, do I separate it into, let me see if this will be big enough. I'm gonna plop down because we're gonna be making these Hopefully again, I'm just gonna do three tablespoons in each one. Three and then some. And there we go, that'll work. This way I'll have this. Remind me not to grab this for my spaghetti and use it just for that. Because it's so good, it's so decent. I just took a bite of it, I'm like, mm, I can't wait to eat these tonight. So this I'll put in freezer for um, another slaw day. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be make some coleslaw. This is very simple. I'm just gonna chop this in half. I probably, I'm, no we won't, I used to make all of it and I realized, you know, we don't need all of that. So I will only make what we actually will use. This will be perfect. And then I'll save the rest because we wanna make um, like pot sticker, pot stickers, wonton things, egg rolls. I think that'll be it. Let me do a little bit more. One more. A few people like the slaw, and then you gotta get a carrot too. Let me just chop off the yucky carrot and put this in there whole. This will work, and then you're just gonna grind this up into the processor. Hopefully, I can shove all that in there. It's beautiful. Come on, ninja. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I don't think it's gonna let me. You got it. Okay, there you go. I'm looking at these and I was gonna throw these out, but I feel like these would make really good for like rolling up um, guam keys. But I just don't need them all right now, so I think I can just freeze these the way they are. 
Mm, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me wash those. I'll put those in there. Okay. I should have it too full. Let me get a bowl. I don't think you can overfill coleslaw. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, let's do that again. So I think I'm gonna freeze these because they're nice big leaves. I've got, um, I think, what did I buy? Four heads of cabbage this month. So if I take at least two or three little outside pieces and freeze it, I'll have some for blumpies. Like really nice leaves. Because when you make like stuffed cabbage, it's nice to have the, um, the bigger leaves. So this will go in the freezer and this will go in the freezer for another day. So this is good. So what is my recipe? I know it's just Miracle Whip sugar and apple cider vinegar. So that's easy enough. It's funny, we go through, I have that big giant container of Miracle Whip, I just want it. That's what I had last month. They didn't have that, so I got this one. It was easier to use the bigger one, but I do got more of this, so. So we better put this in there, and we put um, a little bit of vinegar. Sugar, one tablespoon. And I do salt and pepper, I don't even have it on my list. Right here, sugar and salt and pepper. My mom used to use, um, she used to also put celery seed in hers. Let me do that. Just a little bit, celery seed is pretty um, strong. And this is it, just mix this up. Very good, good old coleslaw. And if it's not, if it's too thick, you can always add milk to it to make it like runnier. But I find like it eventually runs anyway, so I just use the Miracle Whip. And I found that using store brand Miracle Whip, we do not like. I don't know if they change the recipes everywhere, but. It does not taste the same, so I have just been buying the Miracle Whip brand. Perfect, okay. This is it, we've got, I'm done. I'm done and I'm doing more food prep, which is good. Let me clean up my mess. This is really good, nice and thick and hearty and delicious. So this will be enough right here. And then um, the meat, I'm just letting it cool off. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. I'm gonna chop an onion on the plate. Can I do that? I can, even though I have a, um, What's it called? A cutting board right over there. I'm just gonna use that. Okay, that looks like it. I'm gonna do half an onion, and the rest I will um, just put for dinner in a bag. And this will be good for um, chopping up, putting on top of these slaw dogs. And then we'll do ketchup and mustard and onion, and that's it. Very simple, easy meal. We have plain chips, so we'll do some chips in here. And I have um, what else do I have? I have oh, I have dip. I have whole container of dip the last time. What do we have? I feel like we just had, it was just last week. The stuff is really good still. We never even ate half the chip dip. I don't know if the kids could find it or what. So actually I'm gonna do a better job on that. One, that was way too big. Get out the cutting board, do it properly to me. Let me get a better knife. All right, let's just chop these up right here. And a good day, like I said, we're gonna head out here and the kids are up and moving. Um, getting themselves together and ready, and then they're gonna have, um, we're gonna get our school stuff done before we get out the door, and pack a lunch. So everybody will pack something, either a sandwich, there is chicken salad in there from the weekend still, or they can grab like a hummus cup with some stuff. There's veggies in there, we have a lot of fruit in there. And then um, that'll be it, and then we'll head out, the sun is coming out, so I'm hoping it'll be a decent day today. It showed rain this afternoon, so you never know. You know, rain can be, no rain, some rain, it just depends on where we're at as well. So this is gonna be, and then come home and have these for dinner, this will be delicious. So this is good, okay, that's smaller. There we go, that's a little bit better for our onions. Perfect, meal is done, look at that, I know. On a paper plate this time, let me clean this up, and we're good to go. Dishes are done, I'll have a clean house to come home to, that's always a nice feeling too. Great day. I just went to get one of these bags out and I'm like, slider bags. I do not like the slider bags at all. Because once they break, there's no way to fix them. I'm like, ugh. So I have to be careful. Didn't I get like an 80 pack? I did. This, oh, see, it doesn't even close. I don't like it like I like the double zipper bags. They just seem to close so much better. It's okay, pay attention. 
All right, easy day. I picked up the kitchen. The kids will be putting their um, the dishes away, whoever has dishes today. Only thing I did was leave out some of these because we have to fill these eventually, either today or tomorrow. I've got everything picked up, so it's done. I'm done with my work, so I'm gonna go take a few little bit here and get our school stuff done and get everybody packed up. We'll head out. The next clip you'll be will be seeing us going to Big Cat Habitat for a fun day. Let's go. Okay, we're all packed. Everyone's got lunches. We've got water. We're gonna go head out to Big Cat Habitat. Look right here, it says Big Cat Habitat. Wild animal encounters. Exotic animals have called this place home. We were just driving and we're like, it feels like we're out in the country. And I said, well, I guess if I had wild animals, I would not want them in the city. All right, we're gonna go check out this place. It's definitely like out middle of nowhere. We saw a sign that says, keep the country country. Cause there's so much um, people moving in. Okay, let's go see what this is. Okay, we made it. It's like a country little area out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's go see what fun is in here. All right, I already like it. Very friendly people. The volunteer said, have a good day, folks, and told us to have a good time, showed us where to park. It's kind of busy, not too packed, but should be fun. We'll, we'll see. Our neighborhood, there's a little, there's a little serval right there. He's just sleeping away there. He's just sleeping. Oh my gosh, look at the bear. Yeah. It is. It's not even moving yet. It's alive. Oh, I showed you Look at, there's a bear over here. Look at the, oh, there's two bears. There's a black bear. Look looks at like the, bear. the bears that climbed up our mountain. I was gonna say it looks like our mountain bears. There's a black one over there. Here he comes. Look at the black one. Or maybe not. There's another one right here. Playing in the water. And that one over there. Fun. There's a bunch of the bear here walking along. You know he likes to eat stuff. Look at him run. Those are a lot bigger than the... It's like the black bear. Look at his paws. Look at that, how close he is. So it says, I know it does look fake, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, you see it? Look at him just laying there. They said they're all rescued animals or um, rehomed, basically ones that don't have a home. I don't know who would rehome a brown bear, but I don't know. There he is. Look at these ones sleeping away there, bears. Look at them snoozing with their, look at them laying down. Laying on the back. Look at that one. Look how happy. Look at their little foot. Here's the black bear kids. It says Himalayan, lives up on the mountain at our old house. Look at him, so, look at him moving over there. Look at, there's a turtle right there, you can actually pet it. It's the petting zoo, they got a turtle. They've got the goats right there. Here's the ostriches, remember these? I was telling the kids, we went on a little safari ride. These things were poking their heads in the car. Remember that, how scary it was? Oh, they made it in there. Maddie, you're brave. You're brave, Maddie. <laughs> She's like, look at these things. Fun. So it's kind of a neat little zone. You got these little things to sit under, which is kind of nice. See, so not all heated. Maddie's in there petting the goats. Little petting zone. There's a big old monkey up there. There's the monkey. Okay, so they have wallabies over here. I have seen these at our little park had something. A Bennett's wallaby. Greg and I are watching these like real kangaroos. Oh, there he is over there. Look how tiny. He's like a sweet little. Let's see if he moves. He's just hanging out. Patagonian cavey. This that's different. They're definitely different how they look. Oh, there's more in there. They're just hanging out. I hear animals. I hear things. Chickens in there. So let's go see. Look, look at there's a monkey right up there. I think you can go in here. Oh, look at the monkey. He's eating. This is a cappuccino monkey. Look at him. Oh, look how cute his little face is. Look at there. Is he going to climb up and do Look at him. Isn't it funny how he eats? He's cute. Oh, look at There he goes. Look at that, Jensen, he's showing you how he's eating. Oh, then look at, there's a turtle right here. There's two turtles in here. There's four turtles, Oh, it's a whole walkway. That's kind of neat. How fun. We got it from Capuchin. The Capuchin's the name. Look at him sitting there eating. Look at him eating there. That's fun. 
lots of turtles turtles everywhere i just saw one on the road the other day i was driving home and i was like why is everybody stopped it's because they were someone was picking up the turtle in the middle of the intersection so very cool i know look how cute they are are they cute steven look at that one look at his little face he looks like a grumpy one. Oh, there's a big one over there look him up there oh goodness he's running back and forth he looks very sad his little face looks he's got this sad face he looks like mr grumpy look at these ones Mm -hmm. No, he's laying down. This is all the birds, the little parrots. And two hands, look at them. Oh, they're off vacation. The macaw, blue and gold macaw up there. Look how neat. Look at the macaws up there. This one right here, the white one. The chickens. We love these. We've had these before. You guys didn't know Amy was a homesteader back in the day. We used to have 35 chickens and ducks and a, a, two geese, actually, back in the day. Okay, let's go see some more. This is fun. These are so loud. These ones are really loud in here. Loud birds. African tortoise. Look how huge that is. Wow. realize there's one over here look at how huge wow he's like oh a human I wonder if it's like a red panda it looks like he's got a tail like a raccoon I think we saw these up in North Carolina at a place alligator fake one oh they're right there these are yeah ring tail a uh, lemur the little lemur here he's hiding up there he's his tail hanging down they got ride a pony five dollars this is a marmoset look at Look how tiny. Oh, look how cute. Look how little. Got food. Ooh, male liger. Oh, a liger? Is a liger a real thing? I saw it on Napoleon Dynamite. Hey, Autumn. You know, a liger was real. I know. Come. Oh, look at these. The koi. Wow. Look at all that. How big that one That's a lot of them. These are koi fish. No right. Oh, here we go. I think is like putting food over oh, look at over there. There's a well, bunch of animals like, up there. Like oh, look at these are hanging out on their porch. Peacocks. Our neighbor had a peacock. He was from New York City, <laughs> back in Michigan. He bought one of these. His name was Roy. And Roy disappeared one day. I don't know where Roy went, but he went away somewhere. So he was out all the money that he spent for this thing. We were like roost in the trees at his house. So fun. I wanted the liger. What's in here? Anything? No. All right, I think we're gonna go see no running or cheesing. Oh, there it is. The tie. Oh, look right there. Wow, isn't that neat how they put their. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Looks like. Isn't it funny how cats look like cats? Yep. Look at. Wow, look at his tail. It's just hanging out. Alligator Ellie, too. What? He's just snoozing away up there. Probably sleepy time. Angel tiger. <laughs> there they are. They're pretty. Oh, here. Look at this one right here. Wow. Look at this one. Wow. He's like, this Florida heat is hot. That is very. Wow. I've never been that close to a tiger. These just sleeping away. More over there. Wow. Look at this one. This is big. That's a, that's a good name oh. for him. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Good job. Oh. Go on the lawn. Look at that. It's called a liger. A mix between a male and a female tiger. Look at they're feeding some stuff in there. Look at that. He's big. Look how big that is. Wow. What's that? Up on leg. Oh my goodness, he'd be way taller than we would be at first. Uh, yeah, I would not want to be chased by that. He's v huge. Look at this one laying here. Listen to him whining. Oh, look, he's going to get some food. 
gonna feed him some chicken. Okay, Rod. Here comes the trees. He said, I'm saying trees. Give me a tree. Wow, his teeth are huge. There, yeah. This one over there, he's sleeping. Is that it? Look at him right there. <laughs> Alligator, but he might be hiding somewhere. I don't see him anywhere. Look at the fun fairy garden. Remember your fairy garden? A little broken, but cute. Somewhere hiding there. Oh, there's a little bunny right there. Look at it. Look right there, the tiny little bunny. Cute. There's probably, yeah, there's probably no alligator in there. Cute. Just the good llamas. Llamas are always fun. Oh, look at all the animals over there. Wow, look at it. Yes. There's a zebra out there. Looks like the safari that we went to, remember? Look at those over there. So they're coming. He's going to go eat over there, big llama. We had these down in um, South Carolina at Christmas time. They would come right to your car and eat right from you. Look at them like laying down in the water. So yeah, those are fun. The rooster. There's the rooster. There's that. Let me get a video. Look at that. There's the alligator. Now the reason why she's acting the way she is right now with no band on her mouth, she's at Kimmy one. So always human contact. How neat. So most of it just Okay, learn something new about the alligators. I was asking them, like, what? We have them in our neighborhood. What like, makes them not come up and eat people or want to go in their yard? And they said they're more afraid of you than anything. So for most of them, if you're not above three feet, they just kind of don't think much of you. So I'm like, okay, I mean, I don't understand. Just stay away from water. I think this side we didn't get. There's a lot. Oh, there's two lions over there. There's one, two. They're snoozing away. Oh, look at this. Look how big his claws are. Very huge. He's like, I'm just gonna hang out here. Yeah, I would not want that chasing me. Yeah, no, they're pretty big. They would tear us apart. Look at his claw. Look at his claws, Stephen. Look at the claws on them. They're like so big. Very neat. We're gonna go on our way to a bird show at one. It said. Little monkeys. Little store in here to buy stuff. We're gonna do a bird show here and go see. It says no video recording, so I won't. All right, we're gonna hear the show. It should be some bird shows. Look how loud they are. They're so loud. So fun. Look at that. He's scratching his leg. There's the panther. He was sleeping. He's still sleeping. He must have been hiding when we came by. All right, we're gonna come. We came back for the lion tiger show. Oh, there's the panther. We just walked by him. That thing is awake. Okay, what a pretty cool thing. It is a, um, he talked about more like animal welfare and um, the importance of like what happens to animals in the wild when there's a lot more people moving to areas and taking over their land, all that stuff. So it was, they had a lot of animals in there. I'm like, oh gosh. And then they had a little show, I guess, like a little show of the animals and what they did. A lot of these animals were um, either retirees from things or rescued from situations so pretty good so we are done been here for about three hours three hours so i think we're gonna go ahead right by sam's Club. So i think we're gonna go to sam's Club and get slushies and a slice of pizza because you know that's a cheap meal you can feed everybody for basically under 10 bucks <laughs> so we're gonna go do that look at that look at turtle just hanging out with the big giant very pretty. We're coming to Sam's Club. We're gonna get slushies and a piece of pizza because, like I said, it's like it's like a dollar fifty. So we're gonna get that and then go home because we are gonna be going out tonight. So we won't be eating till later. So basically, this will tie us over and then we'll go do another nighttime activity. Everybody does, and then um, then they'll come home later about eight o'clock, eight thirty, and have the hot dogs, slow dogs. We got pizza and a soda. Some of them get the ice cream, and the the whole meal was like. 11 no 12 dollars for everybody so that's pretty cheap all right we just got home it's been a good long day we had a little bit of rain there at sam's club when we came out got home and now we're only here for about a half hour and we're gonna head back out we have a little activity that we go to tonight and then i think last time i made slaw dogs someone asked me to show them what it looked like so i'm gonna insert that clip right here what a slaw dog looks like it is so good it is so delicious so yummy make yourself a slaw dog yes we hear you maxine she's like i'm home you're home. No, 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 no. Don't need to bark. She's like, but there's people or something or I smell them. Look at her. Do you smell things? <laughs> so 
So it has been a great day. What a fun day. You know, something different to do. Get out and do something. It's good to get out in your area and kind of explore things and see different areas, see different things. Like I had never even heard of that. Never even knew where that was. So good thing to go do. So we had a good day today. It's a great day. It's been a good day. We're still going to have a good night tonight. Be gone for a few hours. I'll get some work done and then come back and hopefully swim. I got to feel the pool unless it's rain. It's kind of looking dreary outside here. So I'm not sure what the temperatures and weather is going to do. And then tomorrow, come back tomorrow. We gotta make, I gotta make, I think, I think I'm gonna do some food tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do some more food, bake something, and then we're also gonna go shopping. So I have to go get some clothing. So bought some kids that need clothes. <laughs> That's important to get. So we're gonna do that. It's one of those busy running weeks and that is quite all right because you know what, the next week I'll be home all week. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and the little outing we did for the Big Cat Habitat. Hey, got to see something different today. So you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Tip of your day, remember your encouragement for this morning? like I said at the beginning, and you have a blessed rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. All right, we'll see you. Bye.